Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Military TV. Today, we are going to discuss about whether aircraft carriers can be protected from hypersonic weapons. If you are eager to know more, do not go anywhere and stay until the end of this video. Aircraft carriers are known to have always been vulnerable to lethal attacks. Submarines in the past were the greatest dangerous threat to carriers. Modern anti-submarine warfare ASW has given carrier strike groups the upper hand again, allowing them to effectively screen and protect the capital ship. While robotic submarines may pose a new kind of threat, another dangerous adversity comes from hypersonic missiles. Hypersonic motion is defined as any movement that exceeds five times the speed of sound. Any missile defense barrier might be breached if hypersonic missiles were in use today. What fundamentally sets them apart is not their speed, but rather their ability to maneuver and alter course after takeoff. As well as being incredibly fast, their highly maneuverable capacity would also make detection relatively difficult. The missiles are also designed to change course at random, putting the weapon under stress and potentially ripping it apart. Hypersonic weapons can be divided into two categories. The first works in a similar way as a cruise missile that is self-propelled. The second version is taken into Earth's upper atmosphere aboard a hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV, where it detaches using gravity to achieve extraordinary speeds. Russia recently conducted a test of the 3M22 Zircon hypersonic anti-ship cruise missile, whose speed reportedly exceeded 6,090 miles per hour at Mach 8. Another work by the government is the Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle, which was claimed to have the speed exceeding Mach 20, despite no independent validation has been made to date. The crucial challenges are how can you intercept the attack of missiles which provides crew with little to no warning? Defending against hypersonic weapons, especially for aircraft carriers, presents substantial challenges. To be able to recreate the speed of these weapons in real environments is not an easy matter, especially when there are significant costs involved. Other obstacles include simulating the levels of hypersonics maneuverability and sudden alteration in the direction which will cause unpredictable flight pattern. Because hypersonic missiles may be able to carry nuclear weapons, failing to keep up with the increased speed may render the retaliatory strike deterrent ineffective. Even the U.S. military currently has no direct protection against hypersonic threats, but it is developing techniques to shoot them down and has other countermeasures in place such as cyber attacks. Another thing to note is that countermeasures will arise as the development of defense technology advances. Other viable options to counter hypersonic missiles that might worth to be explored include direct energy weapons, particle beams, and other non-kinetic weapons. In addition, to have the capacity to track a hypersonic missile would arguably require a complex network of sensors and assets including UAVs, satellites, and naval vessels. As a consequence, for a single nation's defense to sufficiently counter the hypersonic weapons is quite questionable. Hence, international cooperation may be the best hope many countries have for dealing with the crisis. According to the RAND Corporation in their video, Hypersonic Missile Non-Proliferation, the current types of missile defense systems are not adequate to defend against hypersonic missiles. The senior engineer of the institution told in his interview, it's a different scenario when we talk about the hypersonic missiles. The combination of the maneuverability and the speed makes hypersonic missiles unpredictable and extremely difficult to defend against. The faster the weapons go, the more kinetic energy they would produce, and the kinetic energy of the vehicle itself is sufficient to be able to cause a bit of destruction. What do you think of this hypersonic weapon? Drop your comment below. That would be all for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.